Sri Lanka, also known as the Pearl of the Indian Ocean, is historically known for its rich cultural heritage, picturesque landscapes and natural beauty, and also the high level of biodiversity. The country is home to a diverse range of animals and the perfect weather conditions throughout the year makes their lives comfortable. Adding a new dimension to this natural diversity, the Devala Zoological Gardens was established in 1920 by Mr. John Hardenberg as a private collection known as the Devala National Zoo. It is currently home to many species of animals including mammals all around the world, birds, reptiles, fish, amphibians and invertebrates etc. Welcomed by beautiful flamingos, the aviary of the Dehivala Zoo has over 50 species of birds and their distribution vary depending on climatic and habitat changes. These birds are free to fly and live their own lives inside beautifully landscaped two walk-in aviaries. The two aviaries are reserved for endemic and exotic birds separately. In addition to providing entertainment, enriched with proper awareness to the public, the management of the zoo is cautious enough to take every possible step to bring the aviaries much closer to the natural habitat of different birds. Swan Pond is marked by a large waterfall flowing from high elevate, indicating that the visitors have approached the habitat for the aquatic birds. Apart from the entertainment aspect, a visitor to the zoo will also be given interesting information about the lifestyles of these birds. Finally, these well-trained birds secure an amazing and never-before experience at the bird show. This well-landscaped butterfly garden houses different varieties of butterflies. Like in all other places in the zoo, these beautiful butterflies are also provided with the fullest comfort and freedom. Not only the endemic species, but also exotic mammals can be found wandering around large and naturally built habitats. Their dwelling areas are also designed in such a way that they can enjoy the way of living, which they are naturally used to. Not every animal follows the same living style. The zoo has taken this into careful consideration when designing their habitats, not only to maximize comfort but also to provide the highest possible visitor experience. Isn't that nice? Look, Leo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The zoo also has a special breeding program under which even the rarest animals in the world are bred for better perseverance. The staff of the zoo takes good care of these animals. Here's our bungalow. The aged elephant is given a comfortable bath. Perhaps these amazing primates may be the most active and freely wandering animals in the zoo. There are 16 varieties of monkeys, both endemic and exotic. It is very interesting to observe the behavior of these intelligent primates. Although monkeys are very common almost everywhere in Sri Lanka, some of these different species can only be seen at the zoo in the country. The reptilium of the zoo is home to 32 varieties of reptiles, including some foreign species. In addition to displaying them for the visitors, the zoo also provides useful information about them. This is a very special service as a large number of even non-poisonous snakes are recorded to be killed every year by humans due to the lack of proper awareness on tear behavior. The reptile show is an opportunity to closely discover the behavior of these reptiles which the vast majority of people ignore in day-to-day -day lives. The aquarium is one of the mostly attracted locations in the zoo. 
It consists of freshwater, marine and brackish water sections. Numerous fish species and corals, mollusks, echinoderms and arthropods are displayed here in 22 tanks. It is interesting that very rare fish varieties have been bred in this aquarium and also in zoo ponds. Perhaps the most talked about aspect in the Dehivala Zoo experience is the much famous elephant show. They even play elephantine basketball. The museum of the zoo is also a very important location. Here the visitors can learn a lot about numerous animals in great detail. Visitors to the zoo are also provided with a number of facilities to make their experience more comfortable and entertaining. The facilities include a cafeteria with proper hygienic standards, kids play area etc. The zoo is also a paradise for all your celebrations, small parties and other joyful gatherings. The name Pinnavala is best known all over the world for the Pinnavala Elephant Orphanage established in 1975. As elephants become endangered due to the invasion of their natural habitats by humans, the need for protecting and preserving them was born and so the orphanage was established. Currently, over 83 elephants live in the orphanage with due care and treatment and this has now become a nursery and also a breeding ground for the elephants. The connection between elephants and the Sri Lankan population dates back to far historic times and all visitors to the orphanage can interact with them closely. At this hut, they stand in line until you feed them fruits. This inevitably is a unique experience as a person rarely gets a chance to get this closer to an elephant and feed. This is a great uh, experience because we got to feed the elephants and also be close with them, take pictures. So I think everyone should visit and uh, come here for this experience. It's wonderful. Very beautiful. <laughs> Perhaps the most interesting feature to experience in this elephant orphanage is the elephant bath. In a nearby river, these elephants entertain a fresh bath. The elephant is truly a cute animal despite it being huge. Spread all over the river, they bathe, play with each other and relax. You will be able to see the bath time joy in their behavior. Needless to say, giving these elephants a bath is an exceptional opportunity one can rarely experience only in a place like this. Very happy. Very happy. The elephants also contribute to eco-friendly products including stationery made of their dung which are available to purchase. They also provide the visitors with one last excitement by a calm walk to the orphanage after the bath. The sole objective of the Pinnavala Elephant Orphanage is to give them a hope for tomorrow with good care and treatment. Pinnavala Zoo Opened in 2015, Pinnavala Open Zoo has numerous endemic animals in Sri Lanka. The zoo is situated closer to the world famous Pinnavala Elephant Orphanage and a large number of both local and foreign tourists visit the zoo on a daily basis to have a novel experience during their journeys. At the Pinnavala Open Zoo, an exciting joy hunting experience is guaranteed as the design of the zoo has been done in such a way that the humans can interact with these animals. There is a huge area reserved for different breeds of deer including the barking deer, 
hog deer and spotted deer. Visitors can move around the park along the carefully divided lanes. The leopard's area is another massive stretch of land where these majestic big cats live freely as they were in a natural jungle. Adjoining the leopard's area is an interesting part of the zoo called the Vilpattu Wing, which is a space that provides information on different aspects of leopards' lives. The zoo not only exhibits different species of animals, but it also provides valuable information on their breeding, behaviors, food patterns, etc. Needless to say, butterflies are very common to almost every part of the world. But in this butterfly park, you will be able to learn a lot of things about them besides the visual entertainment. There is also an on-demand transportation service. The crocodile enclosure is another interesting area in the Pinnabula Zoo. In this hut, you find a real skeleton of a big crocodile together with a lot of information on them. A characteristic feature of this zoo is the beautiful landscapes full of flowers and shrubs all over the area. The zoo also offers space for remarkable photo shoots surrounded by beautiful animals and flowers to make your special day unforgettable. Another flagship project by the Department of Zoological Gardens, the Ridhigama Safari Park is a 500-acre animal kingdom that lets you entertain a complete safari experience as in Africa. The park is divided into seven zones of different animals and two are under construction. Here at the Ridhyagama Safari Park, the visitors are provided with customized transport facilities by specially designed vehicles that maximize their safari experience. In this park, the animals are freely wandering while the visitors are safely watching their beautiful behaviors inside the safari vehicles. The entrance of the lion zone is secured by two sequential gates to ensure that the animals do not pass the dedicated area to the outside. In a massive area covered by safety fences, lions can be found moving around freely the concept is more like we remain caged inside the vehicle. You live freely. This will inevitably add a novel experience to your life. You no longer need to go to Africa to see freely moving lions. After the lion zone, the visitors are safely taken to the world zone, where animals such as zebra, African buffaloes, ostrich, camel, hippos, donkeys, different types of deer and Arabian oryx are found. And some of these animals are very photogenic. Ridhyagama is the country's first dedicated safari park where different species both endemic and exotic can be closely observed. The special safari bus service is also equipped with cutting-edge multimedia facilities and a commentary service. The park also has a Bengali tiger zone that covers an extent of 12 acres. To enhance the safety of the visitors and also to ensure that the tigers don't move out, Two strong gates have been fixed at the entrance as in the lion's zone. Inside the tiger's zone, you find ponds and small lakes and also natural looking caves built for these beautiful big cats. Next in line is the elephant zone of about 54 acres, which is still being developed. Similar to all other zones in the park, the elephant zone is also preserved as a natural habitat where these animals can comfortably survive. 
There is also an African elephant in the park, in addition to the Asian elephants, usually seen in Sri Lanka. The herbivore zone is an expanding zone for different herbivorous animal species, featuring some exotic species as well. One of the main objectives of the National Zoological Department is to provide a safe and caring natural habitat to these wonderful animals that are freely dwelling in the zone, bearing witness to the success of this safari.